Nick Cullen, orthopaedic foot and ankle surgeon at the Royal National Orthopaedic Hospital. I'm going to talk about my take on avulsion injuries of the Achilles tendon we've just published on Orthoracle. Whilst Achilles tendon injuries are commonplace, a very small proportion of these are Achilles avulsions. It's very important to recognise this injury pattern as they behave differently and they need to be treated differently. 90% of patients will have insertional disease such as calcification and Hagland deformity which will need to be treated at the same time as your repair. Achilles avulsion injuries are sleeve type injuries. Most frequently the central portion avulses and there's residual tendons still attached to the calcaneum medially and laterally. Clinically they present as other Achilles injuries with an abnormal squeeze test, palpable gap an increasing prone resting angle of the foot, but the gap and bogginess is more distal than one would usually expect around the insertion. An ultrasound or MRI scan should seriously be considered prior to surgical repair. In the higher functioning individual, avulsion should be repaired to regain physiological length, a robust tendon to bone healing and to reduce bulkiness. The approach tends to be a longitudinal postromedial approach and reattachment is really straightforward using suture anchors such as the biocomposite corkscrew or the speed bridge. Repair to the residual adjacent Achilles and periosteum is really important because it adds added strength. And then early rehabilitation is key. A boot's worn for up to 12 weeks and ballistic activity is introduced at about five to six months. These are substantial injuries in the athlete and almost will return to sport it often takes up to two years to return to their pre-injury level of sport. To learn more, go to our technique at orthoracle.com.